briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a landmark lawsuit in 2002 between a former employee, Katrina Conway, and the Brooklyn Union Gas Company, the United States District Court for the Eastern District of New York ruled an oral settlement could be enforceable. This cornerstone case showcased the court's role in determining intent when assessing the validity of a verbal agreement. Conway, alleging employment discrimination, sought resolutions echoing justice and fairness. The suit saw the parties reach an initial agreement entailing conversion of Conway's termination to a resignation, granting a neutral job recommendation, and withdrawal of all her lawsuits against the corporation. However, a visible roadblock surfaced when it came to settling the monetary aspect. Sensing feasible resolution, the court recommended a sum of $40,000, an amount initially accepted by Conway before retracting and demanding an increased settlement. Reacting to Conway's surprising retraction, the Brooklyn Union Gas Company sought the court's intervention to enforce the initial settlement agreement, which included an appeal to restrict Conway from filing further lawsuits. Relying on the Winston test to determine intent, the court held that an oral settlement agreement was just as binding as a formal written one, with no conclusive evidence suggesting that the parties involved had conditioned their agreement to be bound to a written format. The court supported the gas company's motion to enforce the settlement, basing its decision on the apparent authority and mutual agreement provided by Conway's attorney. However, it rejected their request for a preemptive injunction against any future lawsuits filed by Conway, only allowing for that possibility if she continued to systematically file lawsuits with no substantial merit. The court sent a stern warning to Conway that successive filings could lead to severe penalties, including the imposition of legal fees. The recommended decisions touched on delicate issues of authority, agreement, and intentions, subsequently sparking widespread discourses on the enforceability of oral settlement agreements. This case set precedents for future legal proceedings involving oral agreements. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.